Dude, this is the first time that Toby Foster Beam's Garage is on this channel. So we're gonna make this a good video, guys. Don't worry. What is up, my Scar Lords and Bar Lords? Toby Foster Memes here. And today, we're doing our first album review. And this video is actually scripted for once. I know, right? I bothered to write a script. So you don't have to hear me umming and ahhing the entire time. So, anyways, on with the review. Scarlord is a rap man, one would say. He could, you could say he is the father of this trap metal trend we are experiencing right now. His music can be compared to artists such as um, Bones, Gizmo, Syringe, and even XXX Tentacle. XXX Tentacle Nuke Incoming! Tentacle Nuke Incoming! In all seriousness, uh, Skull's music does stand out from his contemporaries by being very experimental. Skull's music is like this distorted cacophony of these different styles of music that he's bringing in. You can hear like some Eminem, some Slap Nuts, some Architects, there's just a lot of cool different new metal, metalcore influences in there. However, I feel like on this latest album, Infinity, which is the one I'm reviewing today, on this latest album, he has gone a bit more mellow, which is not always a bad thing, and I don't mind a more mellower Scarlord. However, I appreciate that Scarlord has new ideas, don't get me wrong, I, I really do. His vocal performance is definitely varied. He included a wide range of screams and growls and fast rapping verses on this new record, and... Actually, I'm going to go back to the, the room, because this isn't like a very comfortable environment to film in. I thought it would be like a good thing to do, but nah, it's not, not really working out for me. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Much better. I feel like his growls on this record are a bit too weak. I am hopeful he works on his growls in the future. Maybe even experiment with his growls a little more, like add in some death metal vocals in there, and like, increase his range of screams and growls. Because at the moment, they are really a bit too safe for what he is doing. His screams also lack that distorted edge that he had on previous cuts. There's a moment on the opening track where, I think it's called I Want To See You Bleed, where he has a mental breakdown. And this sounds extremely raw, violent, and disgusting. But obviously, he has to, Scarlet has to break that up by saying, it's okay guys, I'm, I'm fine, I'm so sorry about that mental breakdown on this track. Oh, I'm so sorry. That really kills the mood. The beats on this thing are also much more clear than Scarlet's previous work. They're much, they don't really go, they're not as claustrophobic as they were previously, and that doesn't really go well with his vocal style. They're a bit too well produced, I think. Um, How They Judge actually has an interesting slow guitar riff, which is the start of many, that fades in and really breaks up the album from the lackluster beats that I just mentioned. Um, there's also another fading guitar riff I enjoyed on I Can Do What I Want. It reminds me of something like a August Burns Red, or like a Kill Switch Engage. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, yeah. One of Skull's biggest lead-up singles, I believe it was Head Gone, is placed near the end of this album. I originally didn't like this track as a single, but I, I, I've, I've grown to appreciate it more within the context of this album. I think this track should be placed like midway through the album's track list, because I, I believe really I'll improve the album experience a bit more. Uh, it's Head Gone's the second track. Uh, the second last track, and uh, the last track, the, the closer track, Demons and Angels, is a bit too mellow, considering that it's after Head Gone, which isn't the most mellow song, but it isn't as an intense of a closer as I would have liked this album. It's It just mellows out. I, I do like the song, don't get me wrong, Demons and Angels is a good song, I just don't think it should be replaced at the final uh, stage of the album. Track STFU. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Yeah. It feels more like a crowd pleaser to me. It's 
it's kind of like a thing where I feel like he just wants to go on stage and have the fans scream shut the fuck up at him. For, uh, I reckon it'll be a good song to see live. I am yet to cash Scarlet live. Shut the Fuck Up is one of my least favourite tracks on this album. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that review. And uh, that, uh, that's it, guys. That's it. What's that, you fucking poser faggot? You're not going to give this album a score? How am I supposed to know if you like the album if you don't give me a score? But dude, I don't want to give a review score because... I feel like people worship the score more than the actual opinion. I, I thought that if I just expressed my opinion without giving it a score, people would uh, pay attention to the opinion more and enjoy the review more because uh, they're not like looking for the score, you know? Uh, fine then, I'll give this album a 4 out of- Oh my god, you faggot! I can't believe you gave this album a score! You fucking Anthony Fantana ripoff! Fucking kill yourself! Okay, okay, motherfucker. It's not the flannel that makes me an Anthony Fantano ripoff. It's the tie. If it's a black tie, I didn't like the album. If it's a red tie, I like the album. But, damn it, I just said my secret plans out loud. Oh no, everyone knows I'm an Anthony Fantano ripoff now. How could, how could this be? You, you doff half exposed me. Why? Why must you do such a thing? I was only trying to make a good album review. Why?